about it for today's video. I don't want this intro to be too long because the highlight of this video needs to be what I'm about to show you and it is a huge haul of stuff that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond recently. For some reason, they've got like tons of stuff super duper discounted on clearance and you can still use coupons. I picked up a ton of stuff, so I went a little bit nuts. I had my oldest daughter with me and I kept telling her like, you have no idea how exciting this is. I mean, I realize it's toothpaste and makeup and stuff, but that stuff's expensive and to get it for such a good price and so much of it, I was really, really excited to find all of this stuff and I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you wanna see what I got, on my most recent like huge haul, then stay tuned. So seeing this all laid out on my counter reminds me of my extreme couponing days that I miss a lot. I still use coupons, I still price match, I still find other ways to save money, but I miss the good old days of going in like Rite Aid or somewhere on a Sunday and just cleaning house and getting tons of toothpaste and free razors and all that stuff. It doesn't happen as much anymore, it's not as easy, but something like this gets me pretty excited. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond just to pick up that new water filter because the Brita water filter we've been using just does not filter enough stuff. So I've been doing a lot of research and looking into the zero water, which is something I can make a separate video about if you guys are interested. Um, but I went to get that. That's all I went to get. All this stuff is already 75% off and then I use coupons on top of that. So for all of this stuff, let me look at my receipt, hang on. Now it's gonna say, a higher amount just because one thing we're not keeping but if you look right there it says 120.92 I'm actually going to be returning something that I don't even have here to show you because it's so ugly that we're not keeping it um, so when you take that off all of this stuff only costs 114 and just to put this into perspective this water filter regular price is 35 this one Daphne go ceramic hair straightening brush is 80 I got two of them, which alone would have been 160, but I paid 114 for all of this stuff and I'm super excited. So I'm gonna go through and show you what I got. I'm on my phone, so I don't know if the quality is gonna be better or worse, but we'll just have to deal with it, I guess. So you guys know that e.l.f. is already a really cheap makeup brand and they do have a lot of really good stuff. And so everything e.l.f. was 75% off. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner. I had just bought one at Ulta a couple weeks ago and they're usually $4 a piece, I think. So that made these, I believe they were a dollar for each one. So I got three of those to stock up. I got two of these uh, eyeshadow palettes, one for my daughter, and I don't know if I'll keep the other one for me or save it for something else, a gift, I don't know. But I got two of those matte eyeshadow palettes. I got these impressed nails, which I've never done fake nails ever in my life. And um, But my oldest daughter does it sometimes and she keeps telling me that I should try it. So I may try it, I don't know, or I may give these to her, I'm not really sure, but they were like 70 cents a piece. So that would make a good stocking stuffer, Easter basket, something like that. So I got those. I got her two of these eyelid primers because she likes those. I got these Revlon lip colors. All three of these are Revlon lip colors. I believe they're around 80 cents a piece. I got two of the NYX butter glosses. They were around 75, 80 cents a piece. Two of these lip scrubs, one of which I use, and then I'm gonna give one to each girl in their Easter basket, so those were a dollar, I believe. I got nine things of toothpaste. They were 90 cents a piece, I believe. Um, the shampoo that they use is dollar five for the shampoo, which is normally like $7 at Walmart. This thing is, I, I just, I'm so excited, I can't even talk. This Nail Takes Formula 2 I have used for years. It's normally around $17 at Ulta. I paid, uh, let's see, $3.40 for this. So I got two of those. I also have the Orly Base Coat Bonder and it was regular price um, $8.79. I paid $1.50 for that. I used this body spray. It's a Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar and that made it, how much was it? $2.56 for the spray, I believe. And then I got the Coordinating Lotion, which, Made that $2.05 for both of the Daphne Go straightening brushes. It made them, how much are they? I'm trying to look at my receipt. So $27.40 for both of those when they normally would have been $160 for both of those. So that's pretty exciting. The only thing I got that was regular price is my Zero Water Pitcher. It was on sale for $34.99. Of course, I used a coupon, so that made it $23.96. So that was the most expensive thing I got. 
I got two packs of the soap and that made them, um, how much is the soap? $1.70 per box, so that's exciting. I got the Always Panty Liners, you know, because that's super exciting. They were $2.40 for both of them, which I believe regular price, they were around $7 per box, and I paid $2.40 for both boxes. The little bag here was $0.88, cents, and these Sharper Image, like laser tag things, my brother and I had a set of those when we were kids, and we loved them. They regular regular price were forty dollars, and I paid ten ninety six for both. So great gift ideas for parties, and I may even keep one for the girls. I don't know. Even though they're girls, they still like to run around and chase each other. So that might be something fun to do in the spring and summer outside. And then this lovely little gem, which I personally, it's disgusting. It's ugly. It's tacky. And if I were to pick this out for my daughter for her room, she would have been like. Adele, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. That's my teenage voice. But it's a Harry Potter mirror. It was regularly $50 and I paid $6.85. Now the reason why I got this is because we are actually in the process right now of redoing her bedroom. She wanted to do it Harry Potter and I said if we're going to do it Harry Potter, we're going to keep it somewhat low-key and somewhat sophisticated, not like overly Gryffindor with burgundy and all this stuff. So. She agreed to that. So I've got her duvet and everything. I'm actually gonna be doing a teenage room haul. First of all, the price of this, I'm okay if she gets tired of it and hates it, cause I don't, you know, it's $6, so I'm not that worried about it. If I'd paid 50 for it, then yes, I'd be mad. And it's small, so I think it's somewhat demure. And I try to pick my battle. So, you know, like I said, I told her she could do her room Harry Potter, but I wanted it to be tasteful. This definitely is not tasteful in my opinion, but if you're a Harry Potter fan and you know what this mirror is, then I guess that changes the fact that you don't think it's ugly anymore. You think it's really neat because it came from the movie. So anyway, I will try to find somewhere somewhat, somewhat appropriate to put this that's not just in your face. But you know, it is a small mirror and it's something she wanted and I went ahead and told her she could have that. So we picked that up. So that is everything that I picked up at my most recent trip to Bed Bath & Beyond. I had no clue I was gonna find any of this stuff. We were there for like two hours looking through all the aisles. So I don't really know what's going on. I encourage you to check your Bed Bath & Beyond and see or call them and ask them if they're having any kind of like crazy clearance sale because there was tons of stuff. There was nail polish and makeup bags and tons of stuff that I still didn't even get um, that was on, on clearance. So I don't know, but I thought I would share it with you guys. Even if your store is not participating, I just thought it was something fun to share because I was excited and I wanted to share with you. Let me know in the comments what you think the best thing was that I got, the best deal or the thing that you would be the most excited to get for a really good price. I'm curious to know. And let me know what you think about the mirror. Are you a Harry Potter fan? Do you know what this mirror is and what would you do if your kid or you wanted to put it in your room? I'm curious to know. So let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.